Hello everyone, welcome back and I'm going to show you how I wired in a Nest version 3 learning thermostat into my Baxi HE80 boiler which has no external thermostat or programmer already installed in the house so there's nothing on the walls in my house anywhere to control the time. There's a pin timer on the boiler which I'll show you now and that is the only timer that we had literally an on and off you set a time it comes on and off like one of them plugs you use when you go on holiday to turn the lights on and off so we decided to get an actual thermostat and we went with the nest over the hive why just because it seems to have a few more features and it's a one-off thing we're going to buy. So we went for the one that seemed to be slightly better, in my opinion, and what other reviews have said. So we'll just cut here to a quick unboxing that I did of what's actually in the box. I did film this actually the other day, but my camera ran out of battery. So I'm having to just refilm this on how I wired it up. So it's dinted in the corner. Oh, it's actually got a plastic tab on it, that's all right. So yeah, you've got the actual thermostat, which you can mount on the wall. If you've got an existing thermostat, you can put this on your wall, use your existing thermostat wires to run it, or you can run it on a stand by USB, which is what I'm going to do, but the stand hasn't turned up yet. because so it's 35 quid for an official Google one, and all it is is a little plastic stand with a USB charger. There's the instructions. This is what they refer to as the heat link with all the connections in it. We'll have a closer look at that later. And there's the back plate, which you either mount to your stand or the wall, and then just some mounting screws. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go over to the boiler now and show you the board. So always remember, when you're working on any electrics, make sure it is off fully at the wall and at your mains and you can also pull the fuse out do not do this with any electric running to the boiler whatsoever and if you don't know how to isolate it do not do this yourself so what i had to do was um as you saw in the unboxing hopefully there and this video might be a bit chopped up but the unboxing shows you that you get the nest um heat link which i have under here if i just take the cover off and we'll get you in for a shot of the wiring yeah there we go so what we have under here is the nest heat link you can see it's connected with the green light if you click the big button in the middle, it's basically an on-off switch for permanent on, permanent off. And the cabling goes as such, as you can see on the far left there, neutral live. That's your two uh, live power, permanent neutral and permanent live, which run from your boiler straight into here. Then you can see the yellow U. I have from the permanent live um, into the two port of the nest, which is basically the live, the permanent live for the actual turning on and off of the boiler for this heat link. Basically for the switching of the on off. The blue cable, which is into number three, is the switch. So that is what actually controls the power being turned on and off when your boiler is coming on and off, or the thermostat, I should say, goes on and off and controls the heat. Um, four, five, and six are if you have a separate hot water tank, you can link the hot water to that. Mine's a combi boiler, so I don't use that. OT1 and OT2 are for open therm boilers, so more modern boilers that use open therm, which is some kind of eco mode or something. I don't know a lot about it because mine isn't. 
The next symbol is the earth cable, which is also running direct from the boiler into the earth. And T1 and T2 is if you want to permanently wire your nest thermostat, the actual one you do the um, changing of the temperature on, you can permanently wire it to here using the T1 and T2 and you permanently, so if you've already got a thermostat on the wall that's wired, you can wire it from the T1, T2 straight into the Nest thermostat and put it back on your wall um, and it'll be permanently powered. I don't have a thermostat as I've said, so I'm having to use the USB cable and I've got a stand coming for it at, so we can put it somewhere, wherever we want it and it's portable. So now if we go back to the boiler board, you can see here is where I've um, wired this up. So brown to brown is permanent wire. This is the wire here, the new wire that I installed. It's a three core cable. So it has live, neutral and earth in it. So we've gone brown to brown, blue to blue and yellow and green to yellow and green for earth. That's simple enough. Um, so that's basically just the constant power to the hive heat link. So the cable just runs up my boiler, out the bottom, down into the cupboard where I've just been connecting to there. This um, chop box here had a loop in there because there was no external source of timer ETC. So it's just looped back to this main switch and onto the main board. I've removed that, and the way I'm actually controlling the um, actual thermostat myself, is I believe you can wire it into these two, here and here, which I tried but it didn't seem to work, and I think it's because this board has a timer pre-built into it, so these plugs here, are like on a box that run off to this to the old pin timer that I showed you earlier. So as you can see here, what I've done with this is there's the live and neutral which I've left in this timer, but the two black cables that are in this chop box are the switching cables for the switching of the on and off. So when the timer is off the boil will be off and when the timer pins were in they would obviously um, connect and turn the boiler on so I removed the two black cables from there put them into the chop box and then the two together go into the com port 3 of the nest which is basically the switching cable so when I turn the dial on the nest it's it tells it to turn it on and off and then this does the switching so that is the wiring that I have used on this particular boiler if you were to wire it a different way and you know better than me here's a clear picture of the board for you and also a clear picture of the old timer because I assume you can bypass this timer by unplugging it and then plugging it in and then wiring it into here but I did try that and I couldn't get it working but this is working perfectly fine and there's a very little information out there on the internet about installing these nests when you don't have a timer that is already on your wall or a thermostat I should say they all seem to be like, yep, put the power into there, run the cables from you already on wall thermostat into the link, whereas I haven't got one. So from my basic electronical knowledge, this is how I wired it, and it is working perfectly. So, um, like I say, it was four cables, neutral, live, earth, and the com switch connection and then just connecting these two switch cables together
So now I'll just um, put my boiler back together and just show you that it actually does do what I'm telling it to do. All right, so here we go. Here's the thermostat um, that you put on the wall or in the stand. And there's my boiler. I probably should have left the case off for this so you could see the flame coming on. But as you can see, temperature is set to 9. Temperature in the house is 18. If I click it around and go to, say, 20, 21, the screen will go orange. And you should be able to hear my boiler and see the lights come on boiler and it's turn on. You see the green heating light, the radiator light is now on and the boiler light is ignited and the temperature is set to 21 and if I turn it down the screen will go black again and you can see all the lights have gone off. The boiler is now off. Let's have a look under here at the heat link. So as you can see I don't actually know if the lights come on here so if I turn this dial round again to 21 you should hear a click. And there you go, that's the boiler on. And again, if I go under here, you should be able to hear a click again when I turn it back off. There you go. It's now off again. If I press this big button here, it overrides the system and will just permanently go on. And you can see, again, the boiler is on. Click the button again. Off. And that is how I wired up my Nest e-learning thermostat. As you see, it's my child's birthday this week. Happy birthday to him. And he was born before Arlo the dinosaur, so he's not named after the dinosaur as much as he loves dinosaurs. But yeah, this video might be a bit choppy because I've had to film it over a couple of days. But they are simple to wire in. Especially if you've already got a thermostat on your wall. It's literally a few wires. Because um, you can just follow the wires that are already there. This is a little bit, I wouldn't say it's more complicated, but I had to figure out how to get the switch into work with the current pin timer that is on the boiler because I don't have any external thermostats. And a lot of the videos out there all show you how to install these or hives when they've already got external thermostats. So anyway, yeah, I'll leave the video there because it's probably going to go on for too long as usual. And I'm sorry about the shaky camera work and the choppiness of the video. But if you liked it, hit the like, favourite or subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.